Hey guys, I am back and just wanted to show you how I made this little weaved angelfish out of ribbon and well this is kind of nostalgia for me because growing up I had a little mobile that was um, like Asian fish that was made out of paper and so I thought, well, you know, I've got this ribbon, and I think I could probably make something similar and maybe use it as an ornament, a, a charm, or something like that. So let's just get started, and hopefully you find this easy to do. So what I have here, I've got six. You'll need six pieces of satin ribbon. And this with, let's see, this is about a foot long. So you need six pieces of about 12 inches long. And this is, this ribbon is about, let's see, three eighths uh, width. And that's going to make a fish about the size of, He's about three inches, three inches tall by, let's see, approximately a little over two inches wide. So the first thing you're going to do, and it's going to be an easy weave, we'll take three pieces and lay them out like this. And then we're going to weave this way the other three pieces. So just an easy basket weave like over under. So what I will do is just take this and so now we have our first piece going this way. and try to keep it as close to the center as you can. And then we'll take our other piece and we'll weave it the other way. So this is going over the bottom piece. We want this piece to go under the bottom piece, then over the next piece and under the next piece. And then we want everything to be approximately centered, it doesn't have to be exact. So you've got your pieces centered this way and also centered this way. And then our last piece will do the same thing. So that one's under, so we'll start with this piece going over and then going underneath the second one and over. So now we have this little square basket weave. Then what we want to do, and you have to ignore my nails because they're just, they're, they're not doing so well. So this nail, I hit my finger, jammed it on something and it, uh, bled like way it bent my nail like all the way back under the skin so there's like blood stuck way back in there so I apologize for the nasty nails so now what we want to do since this is since this ribbon is like really slippery I want to take some tacky glue and glue the ribbon down to keep it in place before we do the next step so I'm just going to hold this down and lift up a piece at a time and just put a very small amount of tacky glue down just like that and just straighten it out as much as you can and then I'll just put a little bit of pressure right there for a little bit and then I will take 
and I'm just going to straighten this out as I go just to make sure it's nice and square. Hold this last piece down, put a little bit of glue there. Just put a little bit of pressure there to keep it in place. Then hold this down. We'll lift this piece up. So we want to make this as sturdy as we can and not not fall apart. So just the smallest dot of glue will do. And like I said, just straighten it out as you go along. Just so there's a nice tight kind of tight weave there to hold this down so any piece of ribbon that you can kind of lift up and glue underneath you will you would glue with just a little dot Just keep it straight and as straight as you can so you can tell what's going on. So do the other side. I'm sorry about my shaky hands, but that's just how I am. <laughs> I'm just the more I try to keep my hands steady, the worse it gets. And that's not always a bad thing. You don't have to have really steady hands to to craft or be an artist. Sometimes being shaky is not a bad thing. Sometimes it's a good thing when you're painting and doing textures and things. Here, just like a tiny amount. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little pressure so we're not, we didn't put any glue in the center, which that's fine, because we don't have anything to lift. We just want it just enough to keep it in place, because we're going to flip this over. So what I'm going to do is just take like a thin piece of paper and put it underneath this and flip it over real quick. Okay, so we have this flipped over. And the tacky glue's doing a pretty good job. So here's my centerpiece. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold these top three rib pieces of ribbon over just to the top of this first ribbon right here. So we're folding these over. like this and we want them even with the top ribbon on the bottom this here so let's get them lined up correctly and kind of just push them down and try to keep them keep them down Okay, so try to keep them as even as we can. So then we are going to take this side. You could do either side. You could do, since I'm left handed, I'm going to use this side, these three pieces, or you could use these three pieces to weave. So since this piece here is starting under this piece of ribbon, We'll put it over. So now we'll put it over this piece of ribbon. So we're going to weave under the second one and over the last piece. And we'll pull that. And actually, now that we have this, we may. No, we don't want to glue, or do we want to glue that? We can glue this to help this out here. Let's glue this 
really quick. That'll help keep this in place steady. Okay, so we have these three pieces folded over. We're going to hold with one hand, we'll hold them down with the other, whichever hand you want. This is going underneath this first piece. Or started out under, so now we want to go over under the middle piece over the last piece. Hold it. And then just pull it through like that up to that first edge and just hold it like this. So now you've got that piece there and it's going over to the right. Now we have, we're going to take the second piece and this was over, so now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to put it underneath the first ribbon, over the second, and under the last one. And we're only weaving through the top those top three those top three ribbons that we folded over. The bottom we're leaving as leaving flat as it is. So we're pulling this. Just trying to get them as square as you can. So we're done with that one. This one, we'll take the last one. We're going to do weave it, go over the first top ribbon there, then under the second top ribbon, and over the last top ribbon. So now we have a square, a little puffy square. Now we want to just keep these. So now you see that we have the square right here. And now we have six strands of ribbon on this side, six strands at the bottom. Now we just want to glue just a little dot of glue right here and a little dot of glue just right here. So I've got some a little dot of glue here and a little dot of glue on this ribbon here. And that's going to hold this top ribbon. So we want to line those two pieces on top of each other as straight as you can. Hold that down in place. Just hold it down a little bit until it kind of sets and then we'll go skip down to this this one here and we'll do the same thing with it and we'll glue it down so we'll lift this piece up lift this piece up put a dot of glue on the ribbon here and also right here just like a tiny dot of glue fold it back over and then just push down we'll hold it in place just enough for it to set a little bit now we want to kind of reinforce and glue this the top ribbon here to this bottom make sure everything's lined up just right here at the very edge little dot and just fold over line them up 
as evenly as you can and just press then we'll go back to this first ribbon here and lift it up and just glue it just right here little dot tacky glue fold it back over and line them up as evenly as you can just press down for just a little bit okay so that's pretty pretty sturdy so now what we want to do is take this middle ribbon right here lift up just the top the top one and we're going to let's cut it we're going to cut it let's see how we do this We're going to just cut it right up to, I know it's hard for you to see, we're just going to cut it like as close as we can up to this, the edge of this one right here. cut there we go then we'll take that this one here we can fold this one over and cut it about right there so that we can tuck it under or can we I may have did this too is this going to work <laughs> actually I think what we need to do Okay, that's glued. So we're just going to tuck it inside. And we can glue it over. actually think that we should so we're just cutting the center excess ribbon in the middle so we're leaving these two and we want to actually I want to glue that and just inside there just to keep it just to make sure that it doesn't so we'll put a little bit of glue way in there and hold it down so that it doesn't come apart so there's that and you can trim that up later a little better later so let me put some pressure on there like that and then we want to get rid of these two as well so we want to cut these but we want to of course glue these down before we do that so that they 
and don't come apart. So I need to flip this over and actually I do want to glue just right underneath that right in between there so that it will stay so just a little dot right under there so tacky glue dries clear so it's it'll it'll be fine plus we're going to cut so now we want to cut these the two middle the two middle ribbon we want to cut as close as we can up against like that and then as you can see there's we, I want to make sure that these stay closed so add some more tacky glue and make sure that that doesn't come apart. So we'll hold that down. And you may want to wait for this to dry, but of course for video purposes, I'm going to just continue on. Now, we have our little fish shape. So we've got our square and we're turning it this way to a diamond. And these two sections right here are going to be the tail. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut at an angle, cut off some of the excess ribbon here, in the same way with this. So this is the tail. So you want to flip it over and kind of cut it at an angle again and there's the tail and what I like to do is just kind of give it a little curve just give it a little curve and if you want, you can glue these two pieces down some more if you, if you want to. So then this is going to be the top fin. So we're going to cut the two pieces at an angle like this. So there's the top fin. And then we've got the bottom fin. So we're cutting it the same way at an angle like this and there is your fish then I have these googly eyes that I got from I think it was the Dollar Tree and let's see this is kinda let me glue this some more because it's kind of Where's my lid to this? I don't know. As you see it, let's add a little bit more glue to keep that closed. Anything that you see kind of coming apart, you can glue to reinforce. So now we have our googly eyes and we're just going to add some tacky glue. and put it right 
there and hold it down. And that one's kind of open. This end is still kind of open. Like I said, I would wait before you cut your fins, your excess ribbon for your fins and your tail. You might want to wait for this to dry. And then Put the other eye on. Just right there. And then you can hold it up and just kind of line align the eyes align the eyes together. And there he is. Very cute, very easy. Um, if I had some sequins, I mean, you could do whatever you wanted to with these. You could make a charm out of it. If I had some sequins, I would probably, you know, glue some sequins on here to make little scales, or you can glue beads on him. You can decorate him however you want. You can use two different color ribbon. Um, I don't have two different color ribbon of the same width, so I would recommend they be the same width if you have two different colors. But that is all there is to that. And I thank you for watching, and if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back next time. Bye, guys.